A problem with having a self-defense device is one, you want to have it protected and safe, but two, you want to have it accessible. So maybe you get both with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a stop box, security box, and I wanted to check this out because it seemed to be pretty new to the market, at least pretty new to me, and I thought it was kind of innovative in that it's kind of like having a little safe at home. I use that term pretty liberally here because I don't think that this thing is super, super secure, but it's kind of innovative in that it has this little keypad here that's completely mechanical so that you can open it. Looks like it says, Attention. Now, a quick overview of this should show you that it's a pretty healthy size uh, in terms of outer dimensions here. And this one's in FDE, by the way. It's about uh, 10 and 3 quarters inches long, about uh, 7 and a quarter inches wide. And then top to bottom here, it looks like it's, oh, just a smidge under 2 inches. So it's uh, a decent size and i think for most of your devices it's going to be the right size you can see we have some plastic hinges this is actually plastic construction i think this is going to work pretty well to secure stuff but i would say obviously if i took an angle grinder or something like that to this i could probably cut through it i think it's always a trade-off of manufacturing weight materials cost all of that but for the most part, something like this is really to kind of keep people from stumbling on stuff, you know, whether it is self-defense device, jewelry, cash, those types of things, and just being tempted to take it, right? Obviously, if I don't know what it is, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. But something that's metal, I think, would probably provide better protection. But what makes this really interesting is this little key combination that they have here. And it's a, basically a set of buttons that you use your hand with. Now, what I really like about this is it's completely mechanical. So unlike something that has a fingerprint reader, something that requires electronics, something that requires a battery, you don't have to worry about that, especially on something that you're not gonna need very frequently. It might be a year from now that you actually need it. And if that battery's dead, some of the types of security boxes that I've seen also have a key, but then you gotta find the key. So what I love about this is that you don't have to worry about any of this. Now, they all come coded from the factory in the same combination, I believe. And basically what you can see here is I can put my hand down here like this, four fingers on the top, thumb on the bottom. And as far as I know from the factory, it's always the first and last button right here that you might be able to see if I push those down, right? And then I push this thumb button in, now I can open up this box and you can see how quickly that opens up. Now, I don't actually have anything in here and so there's no weight. It's If I had a little weight on here, would actually be a little easier i think because when i lift up this side then it would be holding down this bottom panel so we've got a little flag in there now what you can see is we have this little cutout area here and i think that's really to make space for the mechanism you know as you can see here the mechanism how this works so basically you push down the correct buttons here and then this plunger will go all the way in you can absolutely recode this it requires taking off this panel i'm going to do that in a separate video so you can see the screws there so you take that off and then you move the little the keys around and what it doesn't do is release until you close it again and so uh reprogramming this is probably a little bit harder than i would like but i get that they have a mechanism and it can't be overly easy but i would love if there were a little pins or something right up here that I could just change this really quickly because I think for the lay person taking this apart and doing it and figuring out a combination is probably a little bit more effort than it's worth now I will say that I think you know unfortunately most people are going to just use the standard combination the default combination on this but again is that a problem maybe maybe not I I really think that this is just to kind of keep the inadvertent person from stumbling on on your devices your valuables those types of things and it's really not meant to provide more than a barrier for most people uh to something that they shouldn't have you can see in here we have some nice foam so you can put stuff in here it won't rattle or move around i have a feeling that this portion is going to be your most important portion and so i want to give you the dimensions here because inside is going to be eight and three quarters inches long and then I think you can go all the way up to this edge here into the mechanism. So I'm going to say that that's about six inches. I, I do want to show you here that there are some supports that angle down. So you don't have this full area. So, you know, if I were to kind of start at the base of those little angled edges, it's about five and three quarters. So you do have a pretty good surface area. You can see here that my hand fits on this side. 
so you could probably put you know just about anything you need tactical flashlights those types of things obviously it's going to be plenty of space for cash and jewelries and money and coins or something like that too but it's it's pretty cool it's pretty innocuous looking we do have some rubber feet here so when you put it down on the table you don't have to worry about it rolling around too much it would be kind of cool if they had a version with like a book cover you know so it looked like a book i could almost put it on my bookshelf that type of thing but when i need it i just go up here and hit these buttons and open this sucker back up and you can see when i put it back down snap it it resets there so if you want to protect your valuables yet have access to them quickly and you're like me and you don't trust electronics, something like this with a mechanical mechanism might just be the answer you're looking for. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.